Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about selecting the cut contours in Fusion 360 and how to designate them as either an inner or an outer contour. But first let's discuss the sideways compensation settings in the Manufacturing 3D Profile Passes page. Here is the help page for this setting. I have made clarifications in red. The bottom line is that if you are using a razor weld or hypertherm, you only need to know that you must select left if you want to minimize the bevel. If your torch swirls counterclockwise, then you will need to select right. So now let's look at how to select the contours to cut and how to designate whether they are inside or outside contours. Okay. <clears throat> We're in, now in the manufacturing section and 2D profile and we're going to be looking at geometry where we're going to be doing the contour selections. So it's in the select mode so we're going to come over here and we're going to collect or before we do that one thing you want to do is which side and this will save you a lot of time so on this one, I'm going to say start inside because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six inside contours and only one outside contour. So if I select in, start inside, it's going to save me some time. So I'm going to select inside. Now we're going to select the contours. We come over here and we select that one uh, and put the tail of that arrow inside so we know that's correct. Now, this is kind of crazy because this is put it outside, but this is a bug in uh, the Fusion 360 software. This is actually on the inside. And we're going to come here and put that one, declare that as an inside loop, and it put the tail of it inside. Same thing here. That's a good one. That's a good one. And that's a good one. Now we're going to go to the outside contour, but it put it on the inside. And we it, that's saying this contour is not on the inside. So we want to flip that around. We're just going to select it. And there it is. It's now on the outside. Now, <clears throat> these arrows are very confusing. The direction is not important. The important thing is where does the tail of this arrow reside? And this resides on the outside of this contour or on this side of the um, on this side of the contour which means it's an outside contour which means that's correct and so we have an inside contour and the tail is on the inside of the contour so that's correct the only thing we don't know is this thing right here so let's try and just click that and see if we can reverse the direction Oop, look at that I'm clicking clicking it and nothing's bouncing around so that's a latent uh, software problem in Fusion 360 however we know where it is because when we started this thing we said start on the inside so we know that this thing is in fact an inside cut and when we go in uh, do a uh, simulate a machine run, you will actually see that it is starting on the inside. But that's the only way you can actually confirm that. Now we'll go over here and select passes. And we've selected the left compensation, which we already talked about, which is what we want to do. So that clarifies the issue. So the most important takeaway from this thing is what's important is where the tail of this arrow is, not the direction of the arrow. Thanks for watching.